and back deep to receive for the Steelers is their new return man, Stefan Logan, who's been a training camp sensation, played in the Canadian League of British Columbia last year, and he will run it back as the 2009 season is underway in Pittsburgh. Logan from the three, cutting across the field, crowd on its feet to the 40, and a stirring run back to the 42-yard line, where he's forced out by Michael Griffin, a 40-yard run back to get it started as we take a look at the Steeler offense. Bruce went to the Pro Bowl last year, 6'7", 350 on the left side, and there's no room at all. Probing the middle, Chris Johnson, and when you probe that middle, the first guy you run into is 98 Casey Hampton at 6'1", 325, who eats a lot of space up. Off play action. The pass is caught at the six-yard line for a short game. Paul, the fullback, Troy Palomalo, who, of course, will be all over the field tonight and every night and every Sunday afternoon. Collins in the shotgun on third and six. And it's an inside handoff, and making the tackle is Palomalo. So he picks up right where he leaves off last year. Chris Johnson, the ball carrier. Palomalo comes flying into the backfield and knocks him down. At his own four yard Check line. Check out the speed of Troy Polamalu here. He was about 10 yards off the ball and absolutely ripped up and caught him in the backfield. Sure, sure putting up subtitles next week. Second and seven to the outside. Holmes on a screen. And Holmes makes his first catch of the season. The Super Bowl MVP. The unforgettable catch in the back corner of the end zone. And that's a first down as he reaches the Tennessee. 30-yard line. Three. Screen set up inside, and that's the tight end. That's Heath Miller, and he's close to a first down. He's tackled by the ex dealer Chris Hope. It'll be third down and two at the Tennessee 22. Five-man rush. Collins to the outside, and Polamalu is all over skate that time. It's incomplete, and it will be fourth down and seven. He's flying around the field. You see him right there in the middle, but watch him close on this. I mean, that was a good seven, eight yards of separation. And break a tackle, but Polamalu has just been everywhere tonight. 37-yard attempt for one of the best kickers in the league, Rob Baronis. Great Hendrick to hold, and the kick is no good. Baronis misses from 37 with 6.44 to go in the opening quarter. Still nothing, nothing. Leads me to Sean Merriman, but then again, forget that. Second down and five. Here's Collins back to pass again. Going deep downfield. And what an interception one-handed by Troy Polamalu. And he takes it back to the 20-yard line. From the 44, and the quarter will end here on a one-yard run by was his time and had a fabulous rookie year from the 33-yard line. Johnson again, and one reason that Tennessee didn't make it to the championship game last year, still shaking his head. And coming free that time was Woodley. Woodley was unblocked, and it was all Collins could do to get. The ball away. It almost looked as if Johnson was still a little woozy from the earlier hit by Harrison, and Woodley comes in uncontested. Yeah, Chris Johnson's going to try and get out on the screen. He needed to make a little contact here with Woodley, though. You could see he missed the block, and so Kerry Collins didn't have a chance to get it off. Here they come again, and it's Farrier through the middle that time. Kick LeBeau with about 6,000 schemes. Farrier comes a little late, comes through the middle, comes in basically unblocked. There have been two mammoth sacks, and Roethlisberger in the end zone with a pump fake and then throws over the middle to get some breathing room, and the pass is caught by Heath Miller. That's good. <laughs> Out of the shotgun, Roethlisberger. That's a first down. He hits Miller. So Miller with two grabs. <laughs> Four-man rush. Roethlisberger steps up, feeling the pressure, and hits Santonio Holmes. 
close to a first down. We'll see where they mark it. He thinks he's picked up the first, but the line judge comes in and says, mm. now it's second and 16 from the 15-yard line. Then under pressure, hit as he throws and guns it into Santonio Holmes, who makes the catch in traffic. Willie Colon in and out and just is going to drill Ben as he lets it go. Look at the courage to stand in there. And what a catch by Santonio Holmes. Courage on both ends of that. You make that catch and you might get your head taken off. Flag. Collins is going to unleash a bomb. And there's contact and a flag. And Polamalo gets tied up with Justin Gage. Wow. So it looked like it might have been incidental contact. Has to be there on the fouls Titans. on both teams. Illegal formation. Wide receiver was not on the line of scrimmage. Pass interference. Number 43 defense. The penalty's offset. Replay second out. Top. I don't think so. I, I think yeah. that is offensive all the way. I thought I was crazy. <laughs> I just didn't see what I saw on the field. In motion. Johnson. Tries to turn it back and gets taken down by Casey Hampton. There's a go. And the Steelers last year, the best in red zone defense. Third and six. Collins to the end zone. Uh -oh. And incomplete. And Justin Gage gets sandwiched. I mean, Justin Gage, you know you're going into the lion cage when you come in here. It's like he got his hands on it, and then Ferrier almost took his head off. Now, defenseless receivers are supposed to be protected to blows to the head, but I think that was below the head. Baronis earlier going the other way, missed the 37-yarder. This is a 31-yard attempt. This Hensher puts it down, and the kick is blocked. And there still hasn't been a point scored in 2009. Rob Baronis, one of the best all-time in terms of percentage, has missed one, had one block. Farrier got his hand on it. And Aaron Smith as well. Four-man rush. Pass thrown to the outside, and that will be caught. Second and six. Roethlisberger. Over the middle, wide open. Heinz Ward gets free. Finds the open space and takes it to the 34-yard line. And on this play... Ben Roethlisberger is going to get two guys with his pump fake. Right here, Keith Bullock, and back here, Chris Hope. And that's really what set that play up. He moved those two guys. And First and ten out of the gun. Moore and Miller flanking Roethlisberger in the backfield. Again, the pump fake. Deep over the middle, caught for a touchdown by Santonio Holmes. Chris Hope again right here is going to be fooled by the pump fake. San Antonio Holmes coming all the way across the field and Hope never sees him. He's coming in over on this side. And the pump fake got Chris Hope for two straight plays and boy, did they fly down the field after not doing anything all day. Roethlisberger back in the groove now. This is what he did last season. Again rushing four, seven back in coverage. Ben comes back to the near side. Hits Miller, he gets tackled by Cohen, he's going to get it in close for from the 46. Again, it's just that four-man rush, and he hits Ward, and Ward feels better than it did at any point last year. Second and ten. And the catch is made, and the ball is loose, it's a fumble. As Scaife made the catch, Harrison is there for the tackle, and the play continued, and Kieran Fox comes up with the recovery, and Scaife is hurt on the play, so a lot going on. Harrison, when he hurt his knee, Bo Scaife hurt his knee, he ends up just dropping the football here. You can see he's in pain, and then lets that thing out of there, and everybody relaxes just a little bit. And I think that's Kieran Fox comes over and picks this thing up. Very strange play. And Pittsburgh will take over at the 46-yard line on the turnover. And coming out of the backfield is Willie Parker across the 50. That's a gain of 70. Followed Trey Essex, the right guard. 
Steelers with the second lowest percentage of converting, third and one and fourth and one last year. And that's dropped after a fair catch was called for by Finnegan, but he's able to recover it. Team in a 7-7 tie with the ball at the five-yard line, and Collins giving the ball to Johnson. And just to correct one thing on Finnegan, he returned two punts in 07 in great enough shape to run 100 yards at the end of the half. And that is Lamar Woodley. Third down and six, Mike Wallace. The rookie is also in the game on the other side. And Roethlisberger will throw, and that's caught by the third down back, Mawilde Moore, for a first down. And it wasn't. Second down and four. To the outside, and this is Britton. He gets met immediately, and he gets tackled by William Gay. And second down and six. Whoops. Pressure on. Arm hit. And the pass is incomplete, and that's Lamar Woodley. Which caught three passes for 70 yards. Double tight end set. Johnson can't swing to the outside. Tackled there by Smith, and we're going to check in with Andrew. Hentrick to put it down at the 35-yard line. And Baronis' kick this time is good. That's Wallace in motion. Fake the end around. Swing it out to him. And the speedster rookie gets knocked down after a gain of six. <laughs> to the air again. Stepping up and then dumps it off. And it's Parker who makes the catch. Almost a forward pass. The first down from the 42-yard line. And it's caught by Miller. And Miller breaks the tackle, and Miller gets across the 50 because he was moving forward. And the forward pass, of course, is legal in no way it was going to be challenged. Is now Roethlisberger throws to Miller, who was to reach for a first down and gets it. And that's caught by Holmes for a first down. Good coverage that time by Nick Harper, the longtime former third and a dozen. This time rushing only three. Roethlisberger directing traffic and finds the open man, and that's Antonio Holmes. Ticking down to five minutes. Ben looking at the play clock. Moore to the 10-yard line. Not get the block, and again, I'll tell you, the Steelers, it's been a nightmare for them, this short yardage. They cannot find an answer. Reed, a 32-yard attempt. Sepulveda puts it down. Whoa. Oh, boy, the kick was low but good. Out of the shotgun. Johnson stays in the block. Collins under pressure and then just has to throw it away because James Farrier came in and put the heat on. Steelers show blitz. Here they come. Collins pressured again. Forced to throw it away again. And that time it's Casey Hampton who busts through the nose tackle. Third and ten. Third and ten. Pittsburgh's pressure not letting them. Collins this time has time. Slings it over the middle too high. Intended for Justin Gage. Trying to lead him on a game-winning drive. Two timeouts remaining for them. The ball to the 34 and first down. They rush for it. Ryan doing the job again. Roethlisberger with time. Inside the 20, Ward makes the catch. And Ward will fumble the ball inside the five-yard line. Hines Ward fumbles and Tennessee recovers at the four. It was Vincent Fuller who earlier had an interception. Again, no blitz. Four rush. Seven back. Open right. Left side is Ward and Hines Ward. Picks up a first down. Now you just can't do this. You, you've got to, you're going to stretch this zone in a thousand different directions as that quarterback stands there. And you just can't keep allowing him to do that. I would rather take a chance on getting an interception or making a play and right now they're just standing there in that four-man rush and not even getting close. Ward seven catches, Holmes has eight, Miller has seven tonight. The line does its job. Again, a lot of time. He hits Miller. On second to nine. Pass, quick, caught, right side, Hines Ward. 
Here come the Titans. There goes the pass. Santonio Holmes makes the catch. Big first down. Over the middle. Caught. 15-yard line. That's Mike Wallace to Wallace, and now they're in field goal position. Oh, I tell you what. Big Ben throws this thing. Kind of flat-footed. And let's give the rookie a lot of credit. Mike Wallace down the field. He saw his quarterback in trouble. He found the open zone, took off down the field. Sepulveda will put the ball down. Greg Warren will snap it. 33-yard attempt to win the game. He's got it. The Pittsburgh Steelers, very much like last year, defense and Roethlisberger. Another fourth quarter comeback for Ben Roethlisberger.